Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with Season 1, Episode 21 of My Little Pony. Last we saw, we just saw it, was Green Is Not Your Color. I believe that was the name of it, something to that effect, but I'm pretty sure that's it. It was basically a lot of new characters, specifically Photo Finish. Reminded me of Hoity Toity. Got Fluttershy all wrapped up in this giant modeling advertising campaign. Every pony loved her. She probably was making money, but they don't really talk about money or success in this. There are ponies that have higher statuses than others, but I've never seen money transacted or anything like that. And we saw Fluttershy was super famous. Even if you got that famous for like a month, you would have gotten lots of lots of money. So the status at which she rise to, she had billboards and planes riding by with like banners floating and stuff. Everyone and their mother knew her, but she ended up giving it up because she didn't want it. Rarity wanted it and Rarity was pushing her to have it. And Fluttershy was trying to appease Rarity and make her feel good because she wanted her friend to be successful. But they were all doing it for each other. Rarity thought Fluttershy wanted it and was trying to support her at the end and vice versa. And no one wanted the other one's thing. Fluttershy wants to be left alone and Rarity didn't have the option. We heard Hoity Toity but never saw him. But I saw tons of new ponies, very unique ones, ones that worked for Photo Finish, ones at the modeling uh, runway show and stuff like that. But we're just going to jump in. I don't want to talk too long, so... If you guys want full unedited reactions of these and other shows, Patreon link at the end. If not, we're jumping in. This is Season 1, Episode 21 of My Little Pony. I hear a train. So she sang her song big and strong, and they all lived in that great big tree. She's reading Happily to a big horse. An apple tree? <laughs> Bloomberg here is one of my favorites. No fair, Applejack. You've got a luxurious private sleeper car for a tree. You talk about it as if it's your baby or something. Who are you calling a baby? Bloomberg's no baby. Don't whip Whittle Weary, make you all shady witty. Bloomberg's a big and strong apple tree. It's Whittle Rarity who's all shady whitey. <laughs> She's loving a tree named Bloomberg, the ex mayor of New York. Oh, man, That's fast. hilarious. Oh, Speaking of, some of these popcorn kernels didn't get popped. Okay, fine. I feel like I... <laughs> I saw it. Good night. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Aww. 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 You asleep yet? No, are you asleep yet? If I was sleeping, how could I have asked you if you were asleep? Oh, yeah. <laughs> When we get to Appaloosa, you think we'll have to carry that heavy tree all the way from the train Appaloosa. to the orchard? What tree? You mean Bloomberg? No. Fluttershy. Fluttershy's not a tree, silly. What's going on? Rainbow Dash thinks Fluttershy's a tree. <laughs> I do not think she's a tree. I was Did just... Did you say Amazing. she was a tree? She's not a tree, right? Amazing. She's not a tree, Dashy. I'd like to be a tree. For Pete's <laughs> sake! I loved well, it. that was kind of huffy. Huffy the magic dragon. That's you right. all be quiet now! Ah! Bloomberg! What is Bloomberg? <sighs> Sorry, but I tend to snore a bit. Oh! A buffalo stampede! Oh, wow. 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 They look weird, but just love their cool. accessories. They're getting awfully close to the train. Oh my god! Why are these <laughs> buffalo knocking? <laughs> Why would they be knocking a train off the tracks? Oh my god! If that buffalo tilted a train car, it would have killed that oh, pony. Now they're doing tricks! Who is this? Is that like a fox? What is that? I just want to know. Long ass train. It's like it reminded me of uh, Road Runner. Help! It's Spike. Uh. Appaloosa. <laughs> hey 
there. Welcome to Appaloosa. Braeburn, listen. Hey, cousin Applejack, mind your manners. You have yet to introduce me to your compadres. It's Wild <laughs> West Pony Boggles sound. the mind. We settler ponies built all this in just the past year, don't it? And it. as you can see, we have all of the finest comforts, like horse-drawn carriages. Okay, you pull now. Ah, oh, we just switch. Horse-drawn carriages. Listen, oh, Braeburn, I... <laughs> And here's our local watering hole, the salt block. Can't I at least get a glass of water? They're drunk on salt. The office of Sheriff Silverstar. And here's where we have our Wild West dances. And here's where we have our Mild West dances. Appaloosa! Our apple orchard. Braeburn! First harvest should be any day now. Braeburn! Good thing, too. Shut Braeburn. up, that Braeburn! Live on. Braeburn! Uh... Yes, cuz? A stampede of buffalo. They took Spike! Rainbow Dash went after them! And we can't find Pinkie Pie. And we had an apple tree with us for your orchard, but they took that too! Them buffalo, they want us settler ponies to take every single tree you see here off this land. They sure as hey don't want any new ones added in. I guess it's like boxing them out? They don't got enough land? Boo! Yeah. Pinkie Pie! Looks like I tricked you and didn't get away with it either. You're good. Shh! The more chances of us getting caught. I'll hold him off. Save yourself! I'll hold him off. Stop! She's gonna fight 20 buffalo. Dash, Pinky, sup? Catch you later, bro. What the hell? How'd Spike become cool with him? Fortunately, they totally respect dragons, so they treat me like an honored guest. Still don't like ponies much though, but you're with me, so it's cool. Is that a Can I please have more of that mushy deer? stuff? Whatever it, looks it was? Like Bambi. Certainly. And Mr. Spike, mm. you like gemstones, yes? Turquoise. Mm. <laughs> Sis here's a little strong heart. Please accept my apologies for what happened on the train. So does that mean she, I we guess she's a have buffalo? a long and winding Weird. stampeding okay. trail that we have run upon for many generations. And his father before him. Lannis. And... I think they get the idea, Chief. <laughs> it is a sacred tradition to run the path every year. Apple loosens. <laughs> they planted apple trees all over it without asking our permission. Come on. We have some apple picking apple loosens to talk to. <gasps> Hi, guys. Pinky. <laughs> We're so glad you're safe. They busted their rumps here. And now they're supposed to bust their rumps again just because some buffalo won't stampede someplace else? Here each take a breath. Plant the tree somewhere else. The buffalo had it first. The settler ponies need it to live. Come on, Applejack. You're being I'm unreasonable. Hey, I've got an idea. I cannot wait. Oh my god, what's about to happen? This is gonna be good, I think. We may be divided, but of you all I beg to remember we're all hoofed. All this fighting gets you nothing but huff and mouth disease. Arguing's not the way. Hey, come out and play! So what do you say? You gotta share, you gotta care. Both our diets, I should mention, are completely vegetarian. We all eat hay and oats, and there'll always be a way through. Choreography and everything? It appears that Sheriff Silverstar and I have come to Silverstar. an agreement. That was the worst performance we've ever seen. <laughs> Evidently. Our stampede will start at high noon tomorrow, and if the orchard is still there, We'll flatten it and the whole town. Always fighting over differences. Huh? Can't we all just? That wasn't get the message along? of my song at all. They're boarding stuff up. I love the town. I it's like a little wild. I what they need to live. Hiding all the apples, boarding up the town, putting up barricades. What, are they gonna throw pies at them? Sharpening their horns. That sounds violent. Isn't there some way to stop this? At noon, it will be too late. This reminds me of Blazing Saddles because of the Western factor and like a town being overrun. It's 
high noon. He's not going to do it. <sighs> Say, you got to share. You got to care. It's the right thing to do. You got to share. It angered him. <laughs> Pinkie Pie. <laughs> I'm literally gonna throw pies at him. This just went from violent into that would definitely have concussed that No more pies. Saying goodbye. They're playing a song that is very familiar. Oh my god. He got hit with a pie, guys. He's got some gooiness on him. Oh, the pie brings him back to life. That's a good pie. Um, hey, I've got a much better idea. We'll allow the apple orchard to stay in exchange for a share of its fruit. Not to mention they're helping knock the apples out of the trees. I'd rather eat turquoise any day of the week. Dear Princess Celestia, friendship is a wondrous and powerful thing. You've got to share. You've got to care. Hey! That's what I said! That was another good one, guys. We got all our friends back. I think what it is, is I like when they introduce new concepts and unique ponies and stuff. I am also a giant fan of the Wild West in general. I love Westerns, love Westworld, anything to do with that era of time. And Appaloosa is a real place. I like that they did all that. We meet Brayburn, her cousin. That's an odd name to me, but it must have some relevance or reference that I just don't know. Brayburn, we see a million other ponies, the sheriff with the silver star. I, it was something to do with that, but I can't remember specifically. There are buffalo now, so we have many animals. We have diamond dogs, we had dragons, we've had cockatrices and all sorts of stuff. So animals galore in this, they all talk. I didn't understand in the beginning, but then it all made sense. I just, I thought it was just going to be a random Buffalo attack trying to derail the train. And that was it. I'm like, what is happening right now? But it all made sense except for the fact of the little things I nitpick like in the episodes. And I know if you guys are getting upset about that, I'm not being mad about this in the episode. I'm not hating the episode for it. I'm just saying certain things strike out to me immediately where I'm like, okay, the buffalo hit the side of the train and almost derailed it. But then it slammed into a pony and the pony just like just brushed it off. If it could knock a train car over, that pony would have been decimated. But I mean, it's all in good fun. At the end there, no way would you have stopped a buffalo stampede by throwing pies in their face. When the main buffalo chief was ramming the sheriff star guy he had full steam and was about an inch from the dude and a pie knocked him over. That would have, he, that, that guy would have been dead. That pony would have been gone. But like I said, we have to accept these things because of the show. And I don't hate the show for it. I'm just pointing out things where I'm like, normally that would never have occurred that way. That guy would have been dead. The Buffalo would have won. But anyway, in the end, we learn our lesson and we all prevail. I love that she named the tree Bloomberg. Was that any reference to Mayor Bloomberg from New York? I live in Jersey. I know very well the political status of the people in New York and stuff like that. But I'm wondering if that had some reference because I don't know any other Bloomberg. Why would that be called Bloomberg unless it's like Bloom? But why Berg? I don't know. It could have no relevance and it probably doesn't. But I just thought it was funny because I keep seeing Bloomberg in the news because of everything going on right now, even though he's not mayor anymore. All I know is the Buffalo we're a new addition, I guess, but now they have a path that runs through. Is that even going to come back? Are they story building at this point? I don't know. It's like Adventure Time. I don't know at what point I'm supposed to be remembering things that might reoccur or if it's all just filler until we get to a certain point. I don't know. Either way, I'm enjoying it. And at this point, I'm slowly becoming a Pinkie Pie fan. I've said this whole ride, and we're almost done with season one, that Applejack's always been my favorite. Rainbow Dash is kind of like my personality where I'm very competitive and stuff. But 
in all honesty, they've kind of been sidelined the last couple episodes. A lot of the last episodes were Rarity, Fluttershy, and Pinkie Pie is always popping up, even if she's not the main focus or the episode isn't even dedicated to her. Like in the last episode, Pinkie Pie kept popping up and she was the funniest part of the episode, even though she showed up three times for five seconds. But I don't want to talk forever, so we'll talk more in the comments. You guys want full, unedited reactions of this and other shows way ahead of what it is on YouTube. Patreon link in front of me. If not, comments down below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.